Hello everyone, my name is Aletha Prime, and welcome back to another episode on the World of Odium Observer. So if you remember in the last episode, we went ahead and actually built our first building in District 11, and I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, we are going to go back there, we're going to continue working on the road, but first off, I want to actually work on something a little bit different, uh, and do a project that I've actually never done before, and there's a very good likelihood that I'm going to die, because I am going to be... Going down into an area that has cave spiders. And I am going to be playing with the spawners. So, as a lot of you probably know, cave spiders are only found in uh, abandoned mine shafts, which we have under our industrial district. And not only are. There's not only one spawner, not only two spawners, there's actually three spawners. And anybody who's ever played with Chaos Fighters knows that they're terrifying. So, right here. Right here. Yes, all of the fence posts go to the scary place. Okay, I had to go away and come back. Because there were, spawn there were spiders everywhere. And I kind of feel like putting torches everywhere forever. So, I went ahead and actually brought this bucket of lava. Because not only is it a good way to kill spiders, but it will also light up the area. And yes, I know that I am destroying cobwebs and other things, but at this point I kind of don't care. <laughs> I just don't want to die to cave spiders. They're terrifying. Okay, so... The other problem is that that's not the only spot that they're spawning. They are also spawning around here as well. So one of the reasons I use fence posts is so that way I can see what's going on. The other tactic that I have is I have bars. I can, depending on how they're set up, I can actually reach through them. So like if I put an iron bar, bar here, I think the spider would not be able to get through. They can get through um, a full block horizontally and only a half block vertically as well, so a simple slab is not going to stop cave spiders from munching on your face. I don't like that I'm saying this, but I think this area right here might be safe. <laughs> I think I have enough torches that absolutely nothing can fall. <laughs> Ideally I would love to have sea lanterns, but we'll deal with that later. Okay, I'm also going to block off this section right here, just so that way I don't have anything interrupted. Oh, I hate this sound. I hate it so much. And it's going to be with us for a while. Gosh, there's so many spiders. Terrifying. I hate it. I don't like it. I want to go home. Okay, so I managed to not only secure the spawner downstairs, but I, after a rather long amount of time, have managed to secure the second spider spawner. Uh, as you can see, I have torches everywhere because I'm being super paranoid about these things coming after me. Now, uh, this is the third and last one that I'm going to worry about, and I can change these. Now, one thing that I've discovered, actually, is the water updates from 1.13 have actually been a huge help in being able to do this. Because um, what I'm able to do is, using my handy dandy uh, iron bars and fences, I am able to... Uh, oh gosh, I don't want to do this. I'm always afraid it's going to come through. You. Ah. Okay. I am able to... Nope, not you. Right there. Uh, I am actually able to waterlog the fences, which helps. So sometimes I go ahead and put a fence right here and then put the water down. So that way it goes ahead and... Uh, get that. I'll get something. And pushes any spiders that are behind... That are in this corner away so then I don't have to deal with that and the reason the other reason I have the iron bar here is because it prevents the water from pulling backwards and getting rid of all of my torches and just making me nervous wreck so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to push forward 
Okay, and because the bars are here, a spider wouldn't be able to get through this section as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these cobwebs. At this point, I kind of don't care how many cobwebs I am getting rid of, uh, because all I want to do is get to the spider, the spawner, and turn it off. Right there. Okay. Put the torch down. And so this next section is safe. This is what I call the patented pansy's way of dealing with cake spiders. Uh -huh. So as I move ever closer towards my goal, I see something that I want. Yeah. Turn it out, just spam the fences. Give me ah. I think it's safe Yeah, I got torches everywhere. I got myself a brand new shiny cave spider head. Look at me. Rawr. I know that's not the sound that cave spiders make, but that's the sound that I make. So, yes. Rawr. So the next step that I have taken after having conquered these cave spider spawners is I have already taken care of the spawner down below and this one right here. And I have dug out a little room. So, yeah, so it's uh, nine by nine because that's the area I believe that the spiders can spawn one. Huh. Maybe a little bit larger than that. But anyway, needless to say, we're not going to be losing any of these spiders. And what I'm going to do next is I am going to um, dig out this third spawner right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect all three of them up so that way they funnel the spiders all in the same direction to a killing chamber, which is going to be somewhere around here ish because this is where all three of these spawners are going to be active and yeah so let's go ahead and do that i will get back to you when this one's dug out and we get a little more progress made all right so now i have taken care of all three chambers let me go ahead and show you what they look like so we have the lower one right here so as you can see i have made a little water path here i might change those to bricks we'll see i feel like it uh, and what's going to happen is the spiders are going to get flushed from either end down this way and under this right here and into the water stream. And then they'll start going up and then you'll see the water stream again in just a second. Kind of a convoluted little series of paths around each of the, uh, each of the spawners. And here's this one right here. This one, as you can see, is going to be going into, there's the water stream. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make water flow this direction so it'll funnel them down there. And then that one is similar to the first one in where I'll put water in the corners. So eventually all the spiders are actually going to end up over here. And what's going to happen is uh, the water that's coming in this direction is going to push them this way and down and under this block right here. And then what's going to happen is there is another... So the water bubbles go all the way up here, and as you can kind of see, there's those fence gates with another water stream right on top. So those spiders are actually going to push each other and jump up into the water stream, which will then get pushed forward, and they will get stuck on these hoppers right here. Because while they can go through a single half uh, block space, they cannot go through here because there are these iron fence or iron trap doors right here, which will keep them from coming all the way through. Now I put these iron bars here so that way I can stand right here and hit the spiders. Because if you're up right next to cave spiders, they will still poison you even if they can't you know, directly run at you. So this is a good safe distance and I shouldn't get bitten right here. Another fun fact, or another little feature that I added, uh, because XP can sometimes get stuck in these hoppers and if you get too much XP in one area, it will actually cause a fair amount of lag. I added this lever which will push down um, some pistons and close this section off so you can actually I'll have to get rid of these blocks right here you can actually get up and get the XP that's stuck in the hoppers and then there and it'll just let the spiders come back through and so then we have third chamber back here now I went ahead and also put in a bunch of redstone lamps there's one another two cool go ahead and because uniformity is fun right there. Cool. Alright, so the redstone lamps are for when I start taking out the sea lanterns, and in case I ever need to come back in here for any reason and do some maintenance or other uh, troubleshoot and see what's going on, because uh, hopefully that'll give me the chance to actually get to the spawner and, you know, put some torches on there 
and not get my face eaten off by cave spiders. So, now is the part that I have been dreading this whole time, and I'm going to go ahead and put on some hand-me-down gear and use some of my less awesome tools just in case I actually do end up dying. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put in the water streams, and then take out all the lights, and we're going to see how this sucker works. Here's hoping I did everything right the first time. Shoot, I forgot my axe. <laughs> Actually, that's okay. Ah. I needed this extra little block water. Make sure that the water went to the crutch. Okay, then I'm gonna take out... Grab it! Good beacon. Okay, now everything's going to be flushing in this direction. Um, since these things still slightly terrify me, although not nearly as much as they did, I am going to go, go ahead and put in the water streams first, and take out the, light, the lights. This one, well, this way, so we're going to do much. Get our water back. Everything's flowing to the center. Good. Excellent. Lovely. What we like to see. Alright. Hello! So that everything don't spawn. Come on, let me out. Okay. Okay. Fine. I guess it's now time for the thing. Writing this whole time. And that is taking out all of the sea lanterns. <laughs> okay, I have my crappy gear on. I have my spider slayer. Maybe I'll go get myself a potion of regen, just in case. This is how much I hate dying. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, there aren't any potions of regen, but there are some of instant health, so in a pinch, I guess they'll do. Okay, let's see how this goes. Fortunately, with the water streams. Spiders will be flowing away from me. Okay, I do have a torch on. Let's take that off first. And since we have some guardian farms going, I'm not going to worry about losing the sea lanterns. I have my blocks ready. Okay. Now into here. Ah. Blended. So that one's done. And I will go ahead and turn off the redstone lamps uh, in just a minute. I also installed this glass so that way we can actually look down and see how things are spawning. Safety! Preparedness. Taking way too much time to do anything. <laughs> but, as I said, I hate dying. <laughs> uh, I do need... Alright, so let's go ahead and turn off the redstone lamps. And I double check to make sure that the torches would not... Uh, put any light through the lamps. I wasn't sure because uh, technically I think these might be... I don't know if they're transparent or not. But anyway. So, let's go ahead and get this party started and see how this goes. Hey, you! Oh, this sword is amazing. Then you can stand to the side and get your XP. I'm feeling this is going to repair my tools quite efficiently. Okay. Ah, those two were totally dark, and time to get down to the third one. 
Alright, so this thing is up and running. Let me go ahead and bring up my camera account and make sure that things are running the way that they're supposed to. So this farm is running pretty decently, actually. Uh, the only problem is that I kind of miscalculated exactly where this was going to go. And so if I go beyond this line right here, this spawner gets deactivated. And if I stand behind this under chest, then that spawner gets deactivated. So I kind of placed it a little bit wrong, but I can fix that a little bit later in the future, I think. But for now, if I carefully stand... Ah! Hence, carefully. That's actually the first time I've done that. Uh, on this ender chest, then I end up not getting hit by the spiders and still activating that spawner over there. So, all right. As you can see, I've gotten myself up to 38 levels so far. Uh, still getting a good amount of string. Way too many spider eyes, so we're just going to have to get rid of a ton of those. And yeah, so I'm just going to hang out here for a bit, see how much uh, string I can get for wool. I already have uh, about a stack and a half after about like 10 minutes or so. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. So I did a fair amount of spider killing yesterday, and as you can see I got myself up to 85 levels at this point, and I think that was even after uh, doing a little bit of combining items. So yeah, I am very pleased with this spawner. Um, I added this sign here so that we people know kind of one of the best places to stand. You can kind of get away with standing in this corner right here, uh, as long as you don't get up onto that crafting bench, and then killing the spiders over in this corner. A lot of times they'll see you and actually come skittering over, it's kind of cute in a way. But yeah, I have not had any of these spiders escape, and it's been doing pretty good. I did manage to get a full shoulder of, uh, of white wool combining all of these. Um, I have picked up a ridiculous number of cave spider heads. This is only some of what I've picked up, um, as you can see. Uh, I also installed a little garbage can so that way I can take the spider eyes and funnel them over to here and get rid of them. But yeah, I am very happy with how this turned out. Um, this wasn't exactly, you know, the thing that I had planned for my next video, but it's kind of fun to do something a little more technical in a way, and just to do something that I've never done before. So now I can cross off a uh, cave spider spawner from my list of things to make. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Let me do these. Aha. Hello! Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and probably go off and do something else. I'm going to stick this, uh sword in the item frame above my head. This is the official Spider Slayer. It has Bane of Arthropods 5 and is the only time this sword is probably ever going to get used. So with that, I'm going to call this an episode. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you've been enjoying the series, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll see when I come out with new content. Um, yep, yeah, and I hope that you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.